Fractions word problems is the last activity you should do in fractions. You should definitely get quite good at all the other fractions activities before you try this one. This activity uses lots of different skills such as simplifying, equivalent fractions, ordering fractions and adding and subtracting fractions. In this example, um, Pete saves four sevenths of his week uh, of his wages each week. If he earns two hundred and ten per week, how much did he save? So you need to think to yourself: um, he's got two hundred and ten per week. We need to turn that into sevenths to find out how much each seventh is, one seventh, and then times that seventh by four. So two hundred and ten divided by seven is thirty, because twenty one divided by seven is three. So that's just a um, opposite extension ladder strategy. So we know that each day, if you like, he earns, um, or each seventh rather, of his set, uh, wages is $30. So if he saves four of those sevenths, it's four lots of 30. So four, eight, sorry, 30, 60, 90, $120. Okay. Um, that's how you do that one example, but there are lots of different sums here. So that this isn't going to be the same strategy for everyone. fractions and subtracting. Uh, in this case it was dividing by sevenths and multiplying by, by four, four sevenths, those sorts of things. Let's do a couple more though, just to give you the idea. In a class survey, four-fifths of the class had blue eyes. What fraction of the class did not have blue eyes? This is just a complementary fractions question. If four-fifths did have blue eyes, then only one-fifth did not have blue eyes. Quite simple. This one talks about 24 toys being removed from a box containing 28 toys. What fraction were removed? So you need to find a fraction, you need to find a factor rather, that um, you can divide uh, 24 and 28 by. The, the fraction of uh, toys removed is 24 out of 28, isn't it? Just read the question. 24 toys were removed from a box containing 28. So 24 out of 28 were removed. Remember fractions, this line just means out of. So 24 out of 28. But it reminds you here to simplify your answer and that's where you need factors that you can divide both these by. Um, there is a factor you can divide them both by, it's uh, four. But I'm going to do it even more simply than that. Remember with even numbers, you just always look for two to start with. So 24 divided by two is 12 and 28 divided by two is 14. And then they're still both even, so you can still divide them both by 2. 12 divided by 2 is 6. 14 divided by 2 is 7. And there is no times table that has got 6 and 7 in it. Okay? That's what simplifying is all about. Just getting down as low as you can until you get down to two numbers that don't share a times table. Uh, what else have we got here? In a class, four-fifths of the students have blue eyes. If there are 10 in a class, how many have blue eyes? So four out of five have blue eyes, and there are 10 in total. So if four out of every five have blue eyes, how many will that be out of 10? Four out of five is, ex is the equivalent of eight out of 10, and there are 10 in the class. So it's eight out of 10 is our equivalent fraction, okay? Lots of different types of question, all involving fractions knowledge, you need to be very comfortable that you've got gold bars or nearly gold bars in all the other fractions activities.